As world leaders debate solutions to the climate crisis, no ecosystem on Earth is more crucial to our planet's survival than the South American Amazon rainforest. Right now, that forest is under siege on multiple fronts. ABC's Matt Gutman is on the scene of the devastation in Peru as part of ABC's Climate Crisis, Saving Tomorrow. They say the Las Piedras River remains as God made it, coiling through pristine rainforest, bursting with wildlife and towering trees. We are motoring to the middle of nowhere, which is exactly where conservationist Paul Rosalie wants to take us. So why this spot? In the whole Amazon, there's nowhere that's as important as the Western Amazon. There's more plant and animal life here than ha ever has existed in the history of the fossil record. So every single acre here, every inch of this place is so crucial to protect. Paul helped found a 55,000 acre preserve in the heart of the Amazon off the Las Piedras River. It's part of an organization called Jungle Keepers, dedicated to protecting the precious rainforest. We're trying to help people that were loggers to become protectors of the forest, people that were gold miners, saying that you can be a professional that protects this land. This is a beautiful, beautiful plant. It is absolutely stunning the way it just, they shingle up the tree like it this. It looks painted. For generations, pristine rainforests like this have helped buffer the rest of the world's ills when it comes to climate change. There's a reason they call them the mother of the forest. Uh, well, it's like Pandora. Nicknamed the lungs of the planet because for millions of years, they absorbed carbon dioxide. We're ending the Great Chainsaw Massacre with more than 85% of the world's forests to be protected by the end of this decade. As world leaders commit to trying to steer the world away from climate change disaster, alarming news that the Amazon is now a net contributor of carbon dioxide and that it is perilously close to a tipping point beyond which it cannot recover. These kinds of burns are what are causing 10 to 15 percent of all the CO2 in the atmosphere, right? That's right. Almost a fifth of human carbon emissions are coming from this. From out of control fires. To those mile long scars from gold mining to sandstorms in the Amazon. This looks like Saudi Arabia rather than Western Peru. All of it contributing to the deforestation that is endangering the precious wildlife. Well, the Amazon is starting to waver. The next decade is going to decide the fate of the Amazon. Our journey in Peru on the western side of the Amazon began by car along the Trans-Amazonian Highway. It used to take more than two days for Paul to get to his preserve by boat, but over the past couple of years, loggers hacked out this road, which Paul likens to a shortcut through hell. People see the green and they think, oh, it's beautiful. Now, this, this used to be a rainforest. And just a few miles down that bumpy road, another pasture being born from a fire in the forest. They're burning these on purpose to clear the land. Wow, after logging it. Dude, that's dangerous, man. Wow, that'll burn you. It's incredibly yeah. hot. There's no replanting this. There's no reforesting this. No, you're talking about 800-year-old trees, complex ecosystems, primary forest. And this is going on dozens of times a day, oh, everywhere. everywhere across the Amazon everywhere. This is where climate change is happening. This is where the extinction crisis is happening. We're allowing this. So why are they doing it? These people have no other option for work. Peru ranks fifth in the world for primary forest lost. Neighboring Brazil is number one. Its president, Jair Bolsonaro, allowing the rate of deforestation to soar to a 12-year high. We finally arrive at the Jungle Keeper station. standing about 130 feet up in the canopy of an ironwood tree. Now, this is one of the keystone species of the entire Amazon rainforest, and everything that you see in front of you right now is protected by the jungle keepers, but that is just a drop in the vast ocean of green that is the Amazon. The rangers spend their days monitoring the river for poachers and loggers. Some of the team are former loggers themselves. Hay muchas eh, actividades ilegales que su eh, visiste. Sí. Eh, hay una temporada donde sí se mira bastante este, madereros. Along with the loggers are the illegal miners. There are so many thousands of gold mines gouged into the forest that this photo from NASA recently captured what looked like rivers of gold. But that's not gold. It's thousands of pits gouged into the river left by mining. 
Everything you see around me is part of what's called La Pampa. Until just a couple of years ago, all of this was pristine Amazon rainforest. But hundreds of gold miners were given concessions here, turning this into a vast desert that stretches for mile after mile. And then, shockingly, a sandstorm whips up, making the rainforest look more like the Sahara. That freak phenomenon increasingly common across this moonscape. The end result, the fires and mines and pastures have encroached on the habitat of 85% of the endangered species here. Some of them wind up at Magali Salinas' doorstep. Hi, how are you? The former flight attendant now rarely leaves what she has come to call simply the Amazon shelter. We receive animals coming from the operative authorities, police, or people that come in and they don't want it anymore and leave it us. She has rescued and cared for hundreds of animals, from howler monkeys to tapers. Poachers found her in the forest and they brought her to try to sell at a zoo? Yeah, yeah. How so, much money can people make off of selling an animal uh, like this? Probably he gave nothing. Probably he gave a hundred soles. Twenty-five dollars? Yeah, no less. Yeah, twenty-five dollars, probably. For an endangered species? Yeah. Back in the Jungle Keeper's Preserve, as the sun sets, the forest comes alive. And Paul, whose life's work has been protecting the rainforest, remains hopeful. It's not too late. We're, we're, we're at the point now where we still have a chance to protect all these species, to protect the home to millions of indigenous people and this massive, beautiful biological treasure on our planet. That's why we need to focus on it so much right now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.